Introducing Roku Express. Fast, high-definition streaming made easy. Setup is a cinch with the included HDMI cable. It's perfect for first-time streamers and great for secondary TVs. The included remote is incredibly easy to use. Stream the newest and most popular channels, plus a massive selection of free TV, live news, sports, family entertainment, and more. Everyone pack your bags! <laughs> Roku Express is high-definition streaming made easy at our most affordable price. And it makes an amazing gift. There's a Roku player for everyone. Happy streaming! If you're just now getting into streaming TV, then you need to know about the Roku Express. At just about $30, this tiny little thing is one of the best ways to get into streaming TV, even if you have a smart TV, but especially if you have an older TV. Here's the box and here's what comes in it. You get the Roku device itself, a remote control, and this does come with two AAA batteries. There's a very short HDMI cable here, but that's not a problem. We'll discuss that later. Then there's a USB cable with an optional USB adapter. You can either plug this into your TV directly or into wall power. And then there's a little quick start guide and an adhesive strip so that you can stick the Roku to your TV. There's also another version of this called the Roku Express Plus, and that means that you get this little adapter cable which allows you to connect it to older televisions with that yellow RCA input. Here's the back of the device, and true to Roku style, it's very simple. You have the USB port for power, HDMI port to go to your television, or like I said, if you have an older TV, you'll plug your adapter cable right in here. What you'll notice though is that there's no Ethernet port, so this is a Wi-Fi only device. You'll want to make sure that you have really good access to your Wi-Fi access point. This is the Roku home screen. When you first plug it in, it'll take you through a very easy setup guide, and ultimately it's going to take you here to a list of streaming channels. You could call these apps, but Roku likes to call them channels because it lines them up very much like you might have on a TV guide. Select all the apps that you want to add, go back to the home screen, and then you can reorder them any way you like. I like to keep Netflix and Hulu up on top because I use them most often. For even faster app access, Roku puts four popular services right on the remote. Netflix, Sling, Vudu, and Amazon. Another thing you're going to want to know about is the Roku app for your smartphone. This is one of the best remote apps I've ever used. We'll pick our Roku Express here which it automatically detects on our network. And now I can control that Roku right from my phone. Not only can I select apps, but I can also see what's on right now. Just use the standard remote. Or even better, I can do search, both with text and with voice. The Roku will also stream audio from the TV to the phone so I can listen to it with my headphones. Now, you might be asking yourself, if I already have a smart TV, what do I need a Roku for? Well, simply put, it's because Roku is better in a lot of ways. It has the most modern version of almost all apps, but more importantly, it offers killer search. It'll actually search across all apps to find the content you want to watch and tell you exactly how much it's going to cost. For instance, here I've searched for Star Trek Beyond. I click on that and it gives me all my options and exactly how much it's going to cost. Now, the Roku Express is not without its faults. It doesn't support 4K Ultra HD resolution. It doesn't have an Ethernet port, so you're reliant on Wi-Fi. And there's a little bit of input lag, so when I press a button, it doesn't react right away. But for $30, it's still an outstanding value and the best deal for somebody just getting into streaming TV. There is so much good stuff to watch on TV right now. There's also some not so great stuff, but my point is between Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, and other subscription services, there's a lot of content to keep us entertained. But if you're not looking to add another subscription fee or you're just looking for some more free stuff to watch, there's a ton of that too. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends, and I cut the cord a long time ago, so I've been watching TV through various streaming services for years. And it's been great. Like I mentioned before, there's tons of great shows and movies out there, plenty to binge on. 
But sometimes I like to go back to the channel flipping days. Sometimes I want to watch something that isn't on any of the streaming services that I do subscribe to. And sometimes I just like to stumble on a TV show or movie I used to love and haven't seen in a long time. And that's where some of these free TV streaming services I've discovered come in. I'm honestly surprised that there are so many of them and that there's such a huge catalog of stuff to watch. And obviously, since it's free, there will be ads. But that's how live TV has always been. And I think especially now, with lots of people stuck at home looking for something different to watch, or maybe just a walk down memory lane, these free TV streaming services are clutch. So let's run them down. First up is Pluto TV. Pluto is an interesting mix of live TV and on-demand stuff. You'll find familiar shows and titles along with some stuff you may never have heard of. There's a lot from Comedy Central, classic movies, outdoor shows, a bunch of MTV stuff you may have forgotten about, an entire channel that's just cops episodes, court TV, and then plenty of news channels as well. So if you're looking to just veg out or catch up on what's happening in the world, Pluto TV is great and it's free. On the on-demand side, there's a whole slew of James Bond flicks, full TV series like Hell's Kitchen, and a nice mix of movies from the high quality to the absolutely absurd. I mean, Weird Al's UHF is here, so. Next is Tubi TV. Tubi is a little like Pluto, except it has a distinctive retro appeal. I mean, third rock from the sun? ALF? Where else can you watch ALF? There are also guilty pleasure titles like Duck Dynasty and Dog the Bounty Hunter. Also, Hell's Kitchen again? Yeah, okay. Tubi also has an interesting selection of movies as well. There's some solid stuff in there like Blood Diamond, but the real theme seems to be B-list movies with what are now A-list actors. So if you like a good dose of Before They Were Famous, Tubi is an awesome stop. Just go check it out and I think you'll know if it's right for you. Onward to Crackle. Crackle is actually owned by Sony Pictures Television, so you're gonna find tons of Sony stuff here. Interestingly, the movie Quarantine is here. Hmm. There's also some fun retro stuff here like Barney Miller, The Partridge Family, and Parker Lewis Can't Lose. I'm talking to my fellow Gen Xers here. Oh, also Forensic Files, not just for when you're stuck in a hotel room. The list of movie titles is, well, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Again, I'm not sure Crackle is necessarily gonna be your style, but the app is free and so is all the content. So go have a look and see what catches your eye. You never know what you might find. Next is one of my personal favorites, Voodoo. Voodoo has evolved a lot over the years. You can still use it as a digital movie locker, so if you have Blu-rays or DVDs with digital download codes, you could store them at Voodoo. And you can still use the Voodoo app to scan discs and buy a digital version on the cheap. But these days, Voodoo is better known for offering brand new releases for rent or purchase. What a lot of folks don't know is that Voodoo offers a generous amount of free content, again, with ads. Hit the free tab and Oh, look, there's Hell's Kitchen again. What is it with Hell's Kitchen? Anyway, there's actually loads of quality stuff here and also some stuff of questionable quality, but the library is deep and definitely worth a look. In fact, of all the services on this list, Voodoo feels the most premium. IMDB TV is next on my list, and I think the fact that the movie database site also has a free streaming service may come as a surprise to many of you. Again, an eclectic mix is the theme here, with Julia Roberts in Eat, Pray, Love, sitting right next to Will Ferrell in Elf, and then Little House on the Prairie, right next to good old Bloodsport. Like I said, eclectic and surprisingly fun to explore. You'd think that would be enough, but no, there's actually more. I'm a big fan of Plex as a media server, but you don't have to have a media server to access Plex's growing library of free stuff to watch. Sometimes you just need some OG Teen Wolf or get depressed with leaving Las Vegas. There are tons of quality titles here from Raging Bull to Apocalypse Now, American Ultra to The Right Stuff. Modern to retro, Plex has a solid selection to scroll through. Thousands of titles are on tap. My next pick is a little bit more exclusive and that's Roku TV. If you have a Roku streaming device or a Roku TV, just go to the Roku channel and have a look at all the free stuff right there. The catalog is constantly expanding and occasionally changing, so just don't forget it's right there. A few other things I should point out. Lots of live TV streaming services are running extended trials right now. Sling TV has a 14-day free trial, and even if you don't want to do the trial, it's opened up some free programming for those of us stuck at home. News, especially, could be helpful here. Fubo TV is also solid, and while they are running just a seven-day free trial, I can see that service going with a longer free period, so keep an eye out for that. Also, don't forget that NBA League Pass, NFL Game Pass, 
MLB TV, and many other sports streaming apps that usually charge a fee are offering up their programming for free, at least for the time being. So if you're jonesing for sports, you will find it through one of those services. No matter which ends up being your favorite, I have a feeling you're going to end up using one of these free streaming TV services, at least at some point. You'll start by browsing, but I bet you end up watching something. And as always, free is a very good price.